Hi, hello, this is Giri, teaching 10th Mathematics, the chapter Trigonometry. Questions and solutions from exercise 11.3 and this is part 2 video. In this video, we learn the solutions of question number 4, question number 5 and question number 6 of the exercise 11.3. Here is the question number 4. I shall read, you may please observe, if tan A is equal to cot B, and A and B are acute angles. Then prove that A plus B is equal to 90 degrees. I shall repeat. If tan A is equal to cot B and A comma B are acute angles, then prove that A plus B is equal to 90 degrees. If we observe the question, we have given that A and B are acute angles. Dear children, do you know what is meant by acute angles? Good. We land in the introduction itself. The angle lies between 0 degrees to 90 degrees. It is called acute angle. Can you give an example for an acute angle? Good. 10 degrees, 15 degrees, 75 degrees, 89 degrees is also an acute angle. The angle should lie between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. It is called an acute angle. Good. Now, we have to prove that A plus B is equal to 90 degrees. We have given A and B are acute angles and tan A is equal to cot B. The trigonometrical ratio tan A is equal to the ratio of cot B. Both are equal. Then you should prove that sum of both the angles A and B is equal to 90 degrees. Now let us look at the solution. Here is the solution. We have given that A and B are acute angles and tan A is equal to cot B. If you observe LHS, you can find the trigonometrical ratio tan. But if you observe the RHS, you can find the trigonometrical ratio cot. The trigonometrical ratios on both the sides are different. One is tan and the second is cot. Now, in order to equate both the angles, then you should make these two trigonometrical ratios equal or same. In this equation, if both LHS and RHS have the same trigonometrical ratios, then you can certainly equate the angles. But since the trigonometrical ratios are different, now let us change one trigonometrical ratio into the second. Now in order to change this, we may recollect the formula for trigonometrical ratios of complementary angles. Trigonometric ratios of complementary angles sin theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta cos theta is equal to sin 90 minus theta similarly secant theta is equal to cosecant 90 minus theta and cosecant theta is equal to secant 90 minus theta tan theta is equal to cot 90 minus theta and cot theta is equal to tan 90 minus theta these six formulae are called trigonometric ratios of complementary angles and all these formulae are useful to solve our problems of exercise 11.3. You see now. Here, if you observe this, we have tan at LHS and cot at RHS. Now, let us change this tan A in terms of cot. How? We know that cot 90 degrees minus theta is equal to tan theta. Or tan A is equal to cot 90 degrees minus A. Therefore, in the place of tan A, we can substitute cot 90 degrees minus A. Therefore, you change this tan A in terms of cot, cot 90 degrees minus A. Let us substitute cot 90 degrees minus A in the place of tan A and write the RHS as it is cot B. Don't change this. Now, if you change the tan in terms of cot, now the new equation is cot 90 degrees minus A is equal to cot B. Now if you observe both LHS and RHS, these two contains the same trigonometrical ratio cot and cot. Since the trigonometrical ratios are same and LHS is equal to RHS, equality is there, then you can equate the angles. Here the angle is 90 degrees minus A and at RHS the angle is B. Therefore, 90 degrees minus A is equal to B. Bring both A and B to one side as you have to prove that A plus B is equal to 90 degrees. 
let us take this b to this side and 90 degrees to other side then nine minus a and plus b this side minus b is equal to plus 90 degrees other side minus 90 degrees as you observe negative sign for all the terms at rhs and R lhs you may please multiply this total equation with minus so that a plus b a plus b is equal to 90 degrees therefore we proved that a plus b is equal to 90 degrees this is how we proved question number four hey children now let us see question number five here is question number five if a b c are interior angles of a triangle abc then show that tan a plus b by 2 is equal to cot c by 2 i shall repeat if a b c are interior angles of triangle abc then show that tan a plus b by 2 is equal to cot c by 2 we have given that a b c are interior angles of a triangle abc now we know that in any triangle sum of the three interior angles is equal to how much good the sum of the three angles in any triangle is equal to 180 degrees sum of the three interior angles in any triangle is equal to 180 degrees let us use that concept here in the solution given a b c are interior angles of a triangle abc then we know that angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equal to 180 degrees angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equal to 180 because a b c are interior angles of a triangle and sum of the three angles in any triangle is equal to 180 degrees but if you observe this but if you observe the conclusion we had to prove this now if you observe this conclusion you can find only a and b at lhs and c at rhs therefore let us send this angle c to rhs and leave a and b at lhs only let us rewrite this equation by taking this angle c to other side then angle a plus angle b is equal to 180 degrees minus angle c isn't it plus the other side minus c again if you observe this conclusion a plus b divided by 2 is equal to c by 2 on the other side it is c by 2 here angle angle at lhs is a plus b by 2 and angle at rhs is c by 2 therefore let us divide this total equation means lhs and rhs both with 2 if we divide both with 2 then angle a plus angle b by 2 is equal to 180 degrees minus c whole by 2 you please don't change this right as it is because a plus b whole divided by 2 is there we got the same therefore leave as it is don't change this but whereas if you observe this 180 degrees minus angle c whole by 2 and let us divide it into two fractions as 180 by 2 minus angle c by 2 okay angle a plus angle b by 2 is equal to 180 degrees by 2 is 90 degrees minus angle c by 2 understood angle a plus angle b by 2 is equal to 90 degrees minus angle c by 2 here if you observe the question again you can find tan a plus b by 2 we got so far a plus b by 2 therefore let us apply tan on both sides of this equation here so far we got the value of a plus b divided by 2 but we need tan a plus b by 2 therefore by applying tan on both sides tan of lhs tan of a plus b by 2 is equal to tan of rhs tan of 90 degrees minus c by 2 understood tan of a plus b by 2 is equal to tan of 90 degrees minus c by 2 now you see tan a plus b by 2 we got the lhs therefore you don't change this you write as it is but rhs is different cot c by 2 but here we got tan 90 degrees minus c by 2 this is in the form of tan 90 degrees minus theta tan 90 degrees minus theta or tan 90 degrees minus a this is in the form of tan 90 degrees minus a tan 90 degrees minus theta is equal to cot theta from trigonometrical ratios of complementary angles 
tan 90 degrees minus theta is equal to cot theta. Therefore, we can write tan 90 degrees minus c by 2 as cot c by 2. Understood? Therefore, tan a plus b by 2 is equal to cot c by 2. We got the conclusion that what is required? Tan a plus b by 2 is equal to cot c by 2. Hence, it is proved. This question is very important. This question is given for 4 marks for some times and 2 marks also for some times in public examinations. Therefore, you may try to revise this once so that you can understand it properly. Here, the question is very simple. The solution is very simple. We have given A, B, C are interior angles. Therefore, sum of the three angles is equal to 180 we wrote. Later, only A plus B at LHS and C at RHS. Therefore, we took plus C to other side. And then, A plus B divided by 2 is there. Therefore, you divided both sides with 2. We got this as 90 degrees minus C by 2. As you can observe, tan trigonometric ratio tan at LHS, you apply tan for the total equation to LHS and RHS. So that RHS becomes 90 degrees minus theta, which is nothing but cot theta. Understood? Tan A plus B by T is equal to cot C by 2. So that we got the solution. It is very easy. Isn't it? Good. Now, look at question number 6. Here is question number 6. Express sin 75 degrees plus cos 65 degrees in terms of trigonometrical ratios of an angles between 0 degrees and 45 degrees. I shall repeat. Express sin 75 degrees plus cos 65 degrees in terms of trigonometric ratios of angles between 0 degrees and 45 degrees. Here, if you observe the question, we have given sin 75 degrees. Here, what is the angle? Angle is 75 degrees. Next, plus cos 65 degrees. Here, the angle is 65 degrees. But, we have to change these trigonometrical ratios so that the angles should lies between 0 degrees and 45 degrees. Here, 75 degrees does not lie between 0 degrees and 45 degrees. Similarly, 65 degrees also should not belong to 0 degrees and 45 degrees. Therefore, we have to change these two angles so that these two angles should lies between 0 degrees and 45 degrees. In order to show this, let us use the formula for trigonometrical ratios of complementary angles. You see, let us know how to solve this. Sin 75 degrees plus cos 65 degrees. This is the problem. Now, let us write this 75 degrees as 90 degrees minus 15 degrees. Isn't it? What is 90 degrees minus 15 degrees? It is 75 degrees only. Similarly, the 65 can be written as 90 degrees minus 25 degrees. If you subtract 25 from 90, you will get 65 only. Therefore, we wrote sin 75 degrees plus cos 65 degrees as sin 90 degrees minus 15 degrees plus cos 90 degrees minus 25 degrees. This is in the form of sin 90 degrees minus theta. And this is in the form of cos 90 degrees minus theta. Isn't it? Sin 90 degrees minus theta. And this is cos 90 degrees minus theta. Wherever you find sin 90 degrees minus theta or cos 90 degrees minus theta, this, this type of values, then you should recollect the formula for trigonometrical ratios of complementary angles. What are those? We know that sin 90 degrees minus A is equal to cos A and cos 90 degrees minus a is equal to sin a, isn't it? Sin 90 degrees minus a is equal to cos a and cos 90 degrees minus a is equal to sin a. These two are trigonometrical ratios of complementary angles. We already proved in the introduction video that we proved that sin 90 degrees minus a is equal to cos a and also we proved there that cos 90 degrees minus a is equal to sin a. How these two are equal, we proved already in introduction video. You can find it. Okay, anyhow, these are the formula so that you can use these two formula here. Given sin 75 degrees plus cos 65 degrees is equal to sin 90 degrees minus 15 degrees plus cos 90 degrees minus 25 degrees. Now, if you apply sin 90 degrees minus a is equal to cos a here, then this becomes sin 90 degrees minus 15 means cos 15 degrees 
plus cos 90 degrees minus 25 degrees means cos 90 minus a which is sin a therefore this is sin 25 degrees isn't it now if you observe this answer in this answer we can find the angles that lies between 40 degrees and 0 degrees isn't it 15 degrees and 25 degrees these two angles lies between 0 degrees and 45 degrees we changed the trigonometrical ratios that are there in the question into trigonometrical ratios into other forms of trigonometrical ratios where the angles lies between 0 degrees and 45 degrees by this we concluded the exercise 11.3 the video links of introduction to trigonometry and all the problems from exercise 11.1 11.2 and 11.3 are provided in the description you may please click them and revise all these problems at your convenience for revision thank you thank you one and all